what's up good people my name is Omboy Karen welcome to my channel I hope everything is fine and dandy on your side of the screen things over here are great but they could be better today I want to try and make pizza homemade pizza and then I want to show you uh, I went to the salon and had my nails done so I'm going to show you that keep it low <laughs> only a thousand bob only a thousand bob i do my nails once a month once a month so this is my budget for my these are tips a thousand bob and then i didn't get my my toes done my toes they are only 500 bob i do my toes uh, once in two months because this ones i did them a month ago in the seal good 500 bob when i'm just doing the gel but when i want a pedicure it's usually like 700 bob it's 700 bob or 1200 i think something of the sort but my the budget for my nails is usually 2000 2000 yeah most of the times it's two, it's 2000 and we see my budget for my hair right now it's down to 300 at most 500 bob for the dye and if i go to the salon but i i usually do it at home do bleach my hair at home the only thing i go to the salon to do is barber shop to do is cut my hair shave my hair so if you haven't watched my there's a video i've done for about bleaching my hair you can go click and watch that video so we want to make the pizza dough Honestly, guys, I'm making this <laughs> pizza do for the second time because the footage that I had for the pizza, for the pizza do, I deleted by mistake. So, anyway, let's do this. So, you need half a cup of warm water. This is it. Yeast. One teaspoon of yeast. And sugar. Also a teaspoon of sugar. This is done to activate the yeast. So you stir. You leave it for like 10 minutes. If it for 10 minutes, it should it should become foamy. If it does not get foam hopper, if it does not become foamy, that means that your yeast is bad or it's expired or something. But something ain't right. So yeah, we Put it away for 10 minutes the next step is the flour we're going to put two and a half cups of flour and so some salt to we mix and some cooking oil kidogo one and a half uh, teaspoon then we add the yeast <music> This is how the you know the yeast is good. See how frothy eh, foamy it is. Yeah. So now we'll add it. And mix it. So I've added some water. So you mix you mix chapo. Okay, so that's it. Remember to oil the bowl so that the um, the dough does not stick on the side. So I'm going to leave it overnight. We'll see tomorrow. It's going to be covered it with a cloth. And then kesho is when we'll do the damn thing. Guys, after leaving it overnight, this is how it looks. Wah. Jesus Christ. This is how it looks. You 
can store them in the fridge if you don't want to use them right now so i think i'll just cook one and the other one i'll put in the freezer let's put them aside while we are making the whip um and i'm preparing the toppings i'll just use uh, cheese and pineapple and tomato paste yeah. this is the cheese that i'm going to use i hope it's going to be enough it's obviously going to be enough yes. i'm slicing them like this to make it easier for me to to grate this is what i use to grate the cheese <laughs> to make um the tomato paste so i'll use this i bought it in the supermarket i think it was, it was 194 and then this ketchup i like hands i like i love it so much so i'll mix the tomato paste and the ketchup and this chica chica chili kido go to kido go to but my baby likes pili pili honestly she does not even taste it in the food so anyway yeah so i'm going to mix it let me tell you i had made this pizza before with with uh, like i blended tomatoes myself a little care buyer my goodness in the recipe they are saying not to roll it to just pull it like pull it like this but I'm finding it difficult to do that. I don't know. So I'm just going to to roll it. So you need to oil the pan. And then sprinkle some flour. Sprinkle some flour. I don't have the whatever is needed, but anyway. So this is the 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 do now. I really hope I dust it. So start with the with the tomato paste. I'll just make one because eh, I don't want to make a lot and then it backfire. can put some cheese then put the pineapples so then we add the rest of the cheese that's it let's put it in the oven now it should stay in the oven for 10 minutes so let's see i know it looks way way sunner but yeah that's hawaiian pizza <laughs> so this is how the pizza has turned out let us want to bite the crust is actually good it's not so hard is it it's not even hard anyway yeah let's take a bite Let me just put this a small piece, take it to my hubby, a taste, then we get the verdict. Guys, go try that recipe, that, go try making the pizza at home. It's so yummy, my goodness. It's so yummy. I think the combination of the cheese, the tomato paste, and the ketchup, and the pineapple juice, the juices from the pineapple, it's, 
delicious mouth watering delicious so guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you'll go and make your own pizza at home whichever toppings you want that's your choice um, i'm so happy you're here kindly like comment subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video love and light